a group composed of two Danes, an American, and a Greenlander, set out to Kangalooswak to learn more about the Greenlandic caribou species. Kangalooswak is a small town in West Greenland that's composed of 500 people who rely on hunting caribou as part of their crucial diet. How long could the population of Kangalooswak survive on only caribou? We want to find out exactly how long or if they could survive on only caribou meat in the city in Greenland with a population of around 525 people. So let's go find out. Before we started working on our project, we came up with our own hypothesis. That hypothesis was the people of Kangalooswak would not last longer than one year. So, right here we have the Greenlandic caribou, and the caribou is, um, their antlers can grow over one meter, and they, they, they feed on leaves, different kinds of shrubs, grass, and even lichen. And they, they give birth during these months in, from May through June. And um, amazingly, when they're alerted, they can run at a speed of 70 kilometers per hour. So seeing one is very rare. To find the answer, we made a survey about how much meat is consumed per household. We walked around in the city and asked 19 different households. We used the data from the survey and some other data we calculated to make a population model. We had two population models. Our first population model shows that if the people of Kangalooswak would continue eating caribou at its current rate, the human population as well as the caribou population would thrive. Furthermore, if all the meat being consumed in Kangalooswak was caribou, both populations would grow. This seems outrageous. However, our model does not include density dependency, which means that our model runs without considering the availability of resources. Secondly, our model does not include deaths in humans caused by the presence of caribou. This means that it does not consider the fact that caribou will not always be present. 